On a fishing boat in the middle of the South China Sea, I am on the hunt for the Spratly Islands. I want to find out whether claims that China is building new territory out here are true. Then on the horizon what looks like land, an island where there shouldn't be one. On my GPS, and this has the latest software on it, it says elevated house with a mark of a reef. It's very clear that this ahead is not a reef, it's an island. And that island was not there a few months ago. As we forge closer, the weather closes in. The new island disappears behind a shroud of rain. We plough on south and the rain gradually clears. After four hours, we spot a Vietnamese fishing boat. And then dead ahead, another island. This one even bigger, and it is a hive of activity. This place behind me here is called Johnson South. And until a few months ago, it was a Chinese-controlled submerged reef. But now, as you can see, it's been transformed into a giant construction site. And this is where the Philippine government thinks China may be building its South China Sea air base. These aerial photos show what this place looked like a year ago, and then in February and finally March this year. Millions of tons of material have been pumped into the reef to create new land. Our Filipino captain is shocked by what we've seen. We used to come here all the time to fish, he tells me. Now with all this construction, I think it won't be long till we can't come here anymore. As if on cue, the Chinese start firing flares into the sky, warning us it's time to leave. China claims the entire South China Sea, including all the Spratly Islands. Beneath this vast claim may lie billions of tonnes of oil and gas. Early next morning, a new silhouette appears on the horizon. A rusting World War II hulk stuck atop another reef. This ancient rust bucket is the Philippine Navy ship Sierra Madre. On board, a tiny garrison of 10 Philippine Marines, all that stands in the way of another Chinese takeover. Just beyond the reef, two Chinese ships roam up and down. The coast of the Philippines is about 120 nautical miles in that direction. The coast of China, on the other hand, is 800 miles in that direction. But those two Chinese ships sitting just off the reef behind me are here to enforce Beijing's claim that this submerged reef is actually Chinese territory. For the last year, the Chinese ships have been blockading the Sierra Madre, trying to stop fresh supplies and wearing down the Marines' morale. Our families are far away, he says, so it's a big sacrifice. Food is limited and it's difficult to avoid boredom and sadness. While these Philippine Marines live in peril of falling through their own rusting deck, Beijing's ambition to turn this sea into a Chinese lake moves onward almost unopposed. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in the Spratly Islands.